with showing you my outfit of the day. <laughs> Dom's t-shirt and the comfiest trousers from Zara I've ever had. They're basically pajamas that you're allowed to wear in the daytime and no one cares. Video I have been looking forward to doing because I knew that I could only do it when I was this close to birth, really. So this is my birth plan video. I need to apologise for any noises you can hear. I've got some people doing the kitchen today, so it's a bit, there's a drill going. Mm. Yeah. If you hear any swearing or anything, it's too bloody loud in the kitchen. So this is new. <laughs> I have a list of things I'm gonna go through that I thought about for my birth plan. Um, and I'm just going to quickly run over uh, my thoughts and stuff on those things and yeah, tell you how I feel about them. I have gone through these things with my midwife, so um, she knows she, had a, she has a list, um, but they're things, I'm trying to stay really open-minded still about everything. Um, obviously I'm doing a home birth, so anything can happen, I might have to go in hospital I might have to have c-section I might you know so I'm trying to keep as open as possible so all these things are ideal ideals um, and then yeah just see how it goes so <gasps> countdown is on four days left until splashdown <laughs> can you tell I'm a little bit excited this has been a long time coming Hopefully, I know this is stupid, but I'm still kind of thinking she's gonna come early. <laughs> I'm just too impatient. I can't wait those four days. Anyway, so here it goes, birth plan. I personally feel like a home birth is gonna make me, put me in a more relaxed state. Um, I'm not gonna feel rushed. I'm not gonna feel uncomfortable. I'm just gonna be able to be surrounded by my own things, my own food, and just kind of take my time. And I think for me, that's gonna make me feel most in control and happy about the situation. So I'm going home birth, ideally. We also have a pool. Um, I'll put the company uh, in the description below. But it's a pretty small pool, like we just have a one bedroom flat, so we don't have loads of room. But our living room is quite big, so we've gone for, um, I mean, it's like a large paddling pool, basically. We rented it, um, I think you have it for like two weeks or something, it comes with all the stuff you need, hose, sieve. <laughs> My idea is that I do the majority of the kind of... Um, contractions and early phase of labour just kind of out of the pool might go for a walk might like just try and kind of speed up the process a little bit and then get in the pool for delivery or like close close to delivery that's the idea because I quite like to have her in the pool but just like all of these things I have no idea how it's gonna go so I might get in the pool and hate it feel really hot or feel really uncomfortable or whatever so the pool is there for comfort for pain relief and for delivery if that's how it goes I don't get it when people have like their mum their daughter their their kids their husband their mother-in-law like at your birth like what the fuck <laughs> for me Yes, it's going to be a beautiful experience, but really, is it? I mean, I love Dom to bits, and he's he's seen me in my worst, you know, <laughs> at my worst. I don't want to invite more people that need to be there to come and see that me on all fours, like mooing like a cow, and you know, yes, it's beautiful, but this is between me and Dom. It's gonna be a really magical experience for both of us to welcome our little girl into the world. I don't want my next door neighbors coming around or, you know, my auntie. I don't get it. I really don't get it. 
So it's going to be two midwives and on, and that is it. This is really, really important to me. This, this is like one of the reasons I want to be at home. I, I was my sister's birth partner, and the thing that really stood out to me was that she, the lights were really bright in the hospital room. Apparently you can ask them to dim the lights, but it just seemed really clinical, really unnatural, really like not the kind of environment you'd choose to have a baby in. I know they have to have lights like you know, for, for technical reasons, they need to be able to see what they're doing and stuff, but I'm gonna have lights low. I've got a baby playlist that I'm just gonna have Alexa going, you know, I've got like loads of tracks on this baby playlist that they're like, sorry, oh. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're just songs that make me feel good. They're songs I've listened to throughout my pregnancy. Things that my family have kind of all put like a song on there um, so it's just like meaningful nice relaxing tracks so gonna have music on gonna have candles on for sure until gas and air gets there so all the smells all the atmosphere lights down low probably like fairy lights like <laughs> basically just make it as chilled and comfortable and lovely as possible I'm hoping that it happens at night so I can make it really nice and chill but if it happens in the daytime and it's really hot and there's like and it's really sunny and <laughs> I have to reassess but if that's the case shut the curtains just try and like still have candles on the stuff just like you know fairy lights might not work out but um that's my ideal situation so Dom is amazing like there's not gonna be He's just gonna make himself useful. He's really good at like, he'll give me massages and stuff and if he feels like I am don't want him to touch me or don't want him around, like I know he'll be really good. Like we are really like in sync with each other. So I don't, I don't feel like I'm gonna have to explain everything to him all the time. Um, so his main jobs are pool. He's gonna like fill the pool up. Um, keep the pool at a good temperature for me. Um, snacks, I've told him that when I'm kind of first going into like the first stages of labour, I'm gonna basically carb load, I'm gonna eat, I might even get some pizza in, I, I wanna eat loads of food that's gonna last, because if I have like a 48 hour labour, I don't wanna be um, hungry or have no energy, so I wanna basically carb load before <laughs> splash down before showtime. So he can cook, he can make sure I'm drinking water, make sure I'm going for a wee, um, just make sure I'm comfortable, or just stay out the way if that's like what's gonna be better. Maybe take some pictures, like maybe, he's fine, he's, he's, he's fine with the jobs. I'm gonna call triage when I know for sure I'm having contractions. Like say I'm having one or two every 10 minutes, or even like, if I have like four or five or whatever in half an hour, I'm gonna ring them and just say, this is the deal, um, this is what's happening, just so you know, um, in case they're like miles and miles and miles away and um, things speed up within the next hour and they're too far away to come around or whatever. So I just wanna let them know that shit has started and then I'm going to call the first midwife to come around when my contractions are, I'm having three in 10 minutes. That's my plan. I basically, I just don't, I wanna do the majority of it with just me and Dom here, chilled, like no like midwife hanging around or telling me that I've got ages left or, you know. So that's my plan, I'm gonna call them then. Um, and then they call the second midwife, who's like the baby midwife, when when I'm in like established labor and they need a second pair of hands. So they deal with that. This is something that we really talked a lot about in NCT, but I feel like it's just something, you just do what feels natural. I'm not gonna think about what positions I need to get in, like obviously, I'm not an idiot, gravity works 
how gravity works and I'm not going to be doing handstands. Sorry, I'm super amateur still and I've sellotaped my phone to the window, so that's why it keeps falling down. <laughs> yeah, what I envision being on my knees and being in the pool or um, lying over a ball or um, basically not lying on my back. I can't see how that is going to be comfortable or good for labour. So I presume I'm going to be kind of on my knees or on all fours. That's my assumption, but it will just I'll just do what feels comfortable. Ideally, won't have anything, um, and that's only because my own personal opinion is that I want to be as like natural as possible and not um, have anything that will affect the baby because a lot of drugs um, will directly influence the baby and then I just don't basically I don't want to in an ideal world I don't want to have my baby placed on me when I'm a little bit like spaced out and so is the baby. I want it to be whatever the pain that comes with that, I want it to be as natural as possible. But we will see, I might get 10 minutes in and be like, fuck this, I'm, give me an epidural. I don't know. So I'm open to it. I am open to whatever they strongly suggest if things have gone on a really long time and my body's really struggling or they, you know, they suggest whatever then then I will have to go into hospital for that. They'll have gas and air here which all for gas and air, I love it. Um, and that doesn't affect the baby so um yeah gas and air is fine. Um but anything else I will think about, you know, I won't just just go for it without really thinking about it. But if I'm in a position where I need it, it's fine. This is something I didn't really know that much about, but um, it's really common. Um, it really helps with babies. Um, it's basically a blood clotting prevention injection. So if babies have been delivered with like four steps or they've had intervention, um, especially on their brain and they've got, there's a chance of them bleeding internally for whatever reason, this vitamin um, will help Babies can't blood clot, I don't think, so they will bleed out. So basically, having a shot of this vitamin will prevent them from bleeding. But you can choose whether you want it or not. Some people don't want their baby to have an injection as soon as they're born. You can give it to them orally. Um, I don't really want to... Sorry. ...inject the baby straight away if I don't have to. So. If the birth has been really smooth and there's been no forceps, no intervention, no like chance of bleeding, then I'll make my decision then. I probably won't go for the injection, but um, you know, if, if it's advised, then obviously, you know, at the time, if they say, oh, I think you should probably consider it, then, then fine. So I've been doing this loosely. And by loosely, I mean every day I've been doing like a, I've been listening to a 20 minute hypnobirthing MP3 and it's fine. It's, I can, it basically puts me to sleep, but I'm really shit at that whole, like, so whenever I've been to yoga, I've really enjoyed, you know, the yoga bit. And then when they get really like deep and spiritual and I have to go inside and stop and, you know, be at one with my thoughts. All those thoughts turn to like weird freaking <laughs> backwards shit that I can't, um, I then, my brain just starts like, <laughs> I'm not very good at shutting off. So I don't think hypnobirthing would work for me very well because I'm not very good at that kind of thing. I think I need a lot more time to, to practice it and actually get good at kind of taking myself off. Um, yes, I'm gonna try it through the pain. Um, I'm gonna just have some headphones on and try and um, 
yeah, try just try and listen to this um, MP3. But I'm not. I don't want to rely on it because I just can't see it working for me because I'm just not very. I'm just. I just haven't given it enough time. Really, I kind of feel like just breathing and just reciting. I'm a fucking badass. I can do this and got this and just like empowering kind of you know phrases that are gonna be uplifting and just try and encourage myself through it rather than take myself off I think that might be a bit more suited to me I'm just gonna see how it goes I mean if I'm if I'm like 30 hours in and I'm exhausted and I'm gonna, you know, I haven't tried hypnobirthing yet, I'll, then obviously I'll just try anything, whatever. But I just don't wanna rely on it and use it as my main source of um, pe pain relief and, con and control. I think, I'm guessing by this point I won't care. I just, you know, I've got the baby, everything's gone well. The scent has to come out. Um, if it's not coming out naturally, then yeah, I'll take um, the. It's basically a um, a drug-induced like oxytocin hormone. So um, it it encourages um, contractions for you to push, like get the placenta out. Um, I don't think I'll care much by that point, but then saying that, if I've gone that far without having any drugs and I feel fine, I've got the baby, why why would it be a shame then to just have drugs? But I think uh, that's the kind of thing I'll just decide at the time. Um, if it's taking ages to come out, then I, sorry, is that TMI? I'll decide that at the time. So that is my birth plan, I mean, I say it kind of a bit flippantly because I haven't done this before, I don't know how things are going to go, I ideally don't want any interventions, I don't want um, to go into hospital, I don't want any drugs, but I have no idea how I'm going to deal with this. I do feel quite strongly that how I cope with the situation is in my control, but I don't know what the situation is going to be. If, if the baby's moved and it's getting really tricky, the way I cope with that might be to calmly and, you know, understandably go into hospital and if I have to have a siege section, all those things, I know like the way I deal with them is my, in my control, but at the end of the day, it's a medical thing that the professionals have to lead the way. So. Um, yeah, I'm feeling really good about it. I'm feeling really confident, really excited. Oh, and I just want it to happen now. I'm like, yeah, a few days away. This is from a due date, by the way, so chances are it's gonna be over that. Oh, hope not. Hopefully, I'm not gonna do another pregnancy video for this um, YouTube channel. Hopefully, I'm gonna do a birth one or a my first few days with my baby video. Hopefully they're gonna be the next ones and I don't have to do another pregnancy one. Because as you can probably tell, I'm pretty over it. Trying to put him in the worst mood. P1 cleaner than the church shoes. Really point to just to hurt them. All red lamps to tease them. None of these toys on these two. Made the whole year in a week too.